Hi, I'm Kristen Griego, and today I wanted to talk to you about brazing. Now, we all have heard the term soldering, which is exactly like you would use in plumbing, where you have copper, you have copper tube, copper tube, and then you have a ferrule in between. They'll put flux on that, and then they'll melt solder in the joint to seal it on both sides. Now, brazing is effectively the same thing. You still have your flux, but now you have something that melts at a much higher temperature. Normally between 500 or 725, 750, there's different levels of braze that you can get. Um, for, and depending upon the joint that you're working on, you'll want a different temperature. And the reason we do braze is to strengthen um, the build quality. And what, I'm, what I mean by this is, take a trumpet for example. Now, on this trumpet, we have your slide, right? Now there's a flange that is brazed to the ring so that we can solder the flange to the nickel tube. Now, the reason you want to have this flange brazed there is because it adds strength. It's a much stronger joint than a solder joint. And then the flange increases the surface area so that you have you, you don't go to activate your, your first or third slide and it, it falls apart because the ring, if you were to just solder the ring to the first slide or the third slide, eventually it will fail because you don't have enough surface area. So we make these flanges, a lot of times they'll be oval, they'll be round, they'll be diamond, but the reason for the flange to be brazed to the ring is to increase the strength of that joint and the surface area to be soldered and to adhere there. And braces is used in, in multiple places. On a valve cluster, the, the braces that go in between are brazed in. The liners that go across the ports internally are brazed in. Like on the second slide here, or the second piston, excuse me, good grief. Um, the, the, the ports coming out um, are brazed in. And that increases the strength. What you don't, we would never solder uh, these um, tubes in, and the reason is, is when we would go to solder on the second slide, the whole thing would fall apart. So you have to use braze so that when you go later to solder, it's a much lower point and you'll have a successful build. It's the same on trombone. We, we use braze, we braze in um, on rotors. We have the, the, uh, the ports that go into there. Uh, all four of the knuckles are brazed in uh, so that we can then put the ferrules soldered on at a later point and not have uh, the knuckles fall apart. Uh, you'll hear it, some people call it silver soldering or brazing, but it's all kind of the same thing. And we actually have a video of one of our axial flow valves being brazed together, and we're going to incorporate that in here. And in that, you'll see a lot of flux. We use flux to protect the part, um, and uh, it cleans as you heat it up. It'll it'll etch the material, and, and it, it makes sure it's it's 100% clean. And then in, we can then feed the braids into the joint, and make a solid part that will then be machined at a later point. So I hope this talk on braze makes sense and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the good stuff, and I'll see you down the road.